Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 15th, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So I have added one more cryptocurrency as the cryptocurrency market is the market that everybody is focused on and, and where the interest is at the moment. Uh, basically, every other market has mainly been standing still the last few weeks, and it is basically the cryptocurrency market that has been absolutely exploding. Dash, I think, is up this, uh, this uh, Saturday around 125% in one week. So, yes, that is crazy. Usually uh, that takes um, years in order for it to get to those levels for, for a stock. But cryptocurrency, do that in one week. So the cryptocurrency that we're going to look at is Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, ADA, and uh, Litecoin, NEO, and then Tron. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we, uh, first of all, risen at support levels here, 50 moving average, major support. 20 exponential is also fairly good support. So break down towards the 20 and the 50 that are basically buying opportunities. We are in uptrend here. It doesn't look like we uh, there's going to be any time soon that this is going to break down significantly. It is not behaving in the same manner that it did back in 2017, where we rally up to 20,000 and then broke down to 3,000. This looks more like it is trending up or rallying up towards the 50 moving average. Um, yes, you have these spontaneous days where you basically break out. But usually it is, uh, this was basically Elon Musk's tweet that he made that, no, this was Elon Musk's tweet. And this was basically the uh, announcement that, uh, that Tesla had bought um, several billions in uh, in bitcoin and therefore this market just rallied and since then uh, uh, more institutions have come out and said they are also investing hundreds of millions into cryptocurrencies and as long as that kind of news is uh, dragging on people will get more interested in this they'll be they'll um, they'll trust this even more and therefore this will also become more stable this is not like a like a normal currency where you have the central bank in the back that basically can manipulate the price and so on. This is basically uh, the supply and demand in the market that is driving this. And therefore, you can have these massive fluctuations because there's nothing that is preventing this from falling or, for, uh, or from increasing. But at this point, we're holding really well here. We had this bullish flag that made this move to the upside. But at this moment, we are holding really well between uh, 43,700 and the very highs here of 48 or 49,000. So we're, it does not look like we're going to break towards the 20 exponential. If we do, then this is a major buying opportunity. I have still not invested in Bitcoin. Uh, I have invested in some of the other, um, like Ethereum and in Litecoin, but not in in Bitcoin uh, at this point, but I may do if we fall towards this level. This is also the previous highs here. This should be a massive support, and you will see a lot of buyers come here and pressure this up to 50,000. So 50,000 is going to be a place where we most likely see a lot of choppiness. I don't think that we're going to rally through 50,000 as we did for 40,000. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that we're going to see a lot of back and forwards within this uh, $10,000 range uh, before we break 50000 So targets for Bitcoin, they are, well, forecasts go all the way from 100000 150 all the way up to, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, 500000 And yes, that's, I think, becomes quite ludicrous. We're not going to see that in a few years. We could actually see this market tumble quite easily as uh, back in 17. Uh, but at this moment, it looks very stable. If you look at technical indicators, they are uh, all over the place at this point in the daily chart. The RSI is bearish momentum. The CCI is bearish momentum. Stochastic is flat. And the MACD, it looks like we are basically turning around there. 
So we could see this slowly go towards the 20 exponential. I don't think that we're going to go to this level here. I think that we're going to go towards the 20 around 30, uh, 43,000, 44,000, and then go towards the 50. So let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum. I hope I now pronounce these words right. These cryptocurrencies, right? But we have had another really good week for, for this cryptocurrency. We saw the all time highs here of 1855, and now we are breaking down a bit. So, usually these cryptocurrency rally significantly in the weekend. So, on, on Saturday and on, on Sunday, you mainly see these cryptocurrencies just go bananas. Probably because people can't trade anything else in the in the weekend and therefore they're just focusing on cryptocurrency and there and that could drive up this. That's probably one of the reasons, but it is not um it's not a market that closes any at any point in the weekend and is open all the time. But at this point we're having a little bit of pullback. We're trading at 1773 and the bottom of this market is down here at 1573. This is where a lot of people will come back in. You can see the, this pullback here roughly one and a half week ago uh, where we saw it drop down to 1485 and you after that we rallied significantly. So 20 exponential, that is at the moment the bottom of this market. Long-term target, or probably not long-term target, but the medium-term target is going to be 2000. A break of 2000, we will get this to 2500 and then to 3000. We'll probably see this get really close to 10,000 to 5000, probably 10,000 in the next year or year and a half if it goes in the same manner that we're seeing right now. We can look at the daily weekly chart and you can see that it is getting ridiculously overstretched, but that is the nature of these cryptocurrency in the weekly chart. I would say we could drop down to 1500. We could also drop to the middle of this, which is the right at the middle of the, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, around just above a thousand, where we also have the 20 exponential moving average. But at this point, it is very um, supported here at the 20 exponential in the in the one hour chart in the daily chart. So let's look at Adam. Cardano. So Cardano has fallen quite uh, quite a bit today. We had this ridiculous rally from roughly at 0 0.33 all the way up towards $1 for this cryptocurrency in only two weeks. So yeah, it, a pullback it is, it is expected at this point. We could see uh, this pullback towards 0 0.75 if you look at the Fibonacci retracements all the way down here, the long term. So this is probably where people will come in. It won't even get close to the first Fibonacci retracement, but 0 0.75 is where people most likely will start buying. But if you get down to this level here, which is a breakout from, from uh, the beginning of this week, we get that is down at uh, 38.2 and 0 0.64 in the, in, the, uh, in the value here. That is also where people will start buying this. That is also just above the 20 exponential moving average. So the 20, we have only tested that. And last time we tested it, it just rallied to the upside. So pullbacks towards um, 0 0.75 or even better down towards the 20 exponential uh, around 0 0.63. That is where you also could buy this. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. So this is most likely going to get fairly ugly and drop quite significantly on today or on, on Sunday or Monday. And so, yes, that is most likely going to happen. You can look at, for example, also the, the weekly chart. You can look at the bullish band for the weekly and just see how far outside of the bullish band this cryptocurrency is. This will drop could drop in the weekly chart all the way down to the middle of the run. But at this point, as long as these cryptocurrencies are as bullish as they are, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So let's look at uh, Litcoin. So this is a cryptocurrency that I, um, that I do own, one of very few. It did 
have a major breakout here on on the, uh, this week on Wednesday. It basically broke out, ra- broke down again, rallied on Thursday and on Friday. It stabilized above this previous highs. So I think that this is going to be the bottom of this market. If we get down to 0. 182, then this will start rallying quite significantly. I started buy- buying into this around, uh, uh, I think it was 147, around this area here before the breakout. So usually when it runs into major support here for several days, that is a very good sign that it will break out. So if you look at the support levels here, the 20 exponential has been very supportive and the 50 is also the, basically the bottom of this market. If we were to drop from here, I think that the top of this range should be where this should settle and then go even further. So we may see this drop down here and then go further. So we did break $200. I think in the, the next two or three months, we'll probably go to 250 and the end of the year, we probably would see this around $500. So breakdowns at this point are buying opportunities. This is a far more um, stable cryptocurrency compared to, to other ones like ADA and so on. So we do have these occasional uh, drops, but the 50 moving average worked as major support. So if we have another one of these drops, I will be buying more of this cryptocurrency. So we could see one, but it's it's not very likely at this point. So let's look at NEO. So this also has been, uh, been trading way outside of the bullish band for the la- for this entire week. We rallied from twenty three dollars all the way up towards uh, thirty eight dollars. So almost a hundred dollar hundred percent in one week. That is, that's crazy. So after a rally like that, you will see a pullback. So pullbacks at this point, probably we could go all the way down to these previous highs. So $28, that is very likely. I think that $30 $30 is where you will see buyers come back in. So we could see a pullback towards $30 and then rally towards $40. That is most likely what's going to happen here. But Bitcoin will lead the way. Uh, it looks like people are just buying into every single uh, cryptocurrency. It's definitely the, the cheaper ones um, like ADA and to Tron and to uh, those cryptocurrencies. You can just look at what hap- happened in Dogecoin, which technically is, a, as I understand it, a joke of a cryptocurrency, uh, but still it has been rallying ridiculously, mainly due to Elon Musk. Uh, Yes, tweeting about it and so on. So, so yes, uh, some of these have have value. Some of them are just complete junk, to be very honest. And and at some point, we are going to see, um, for example, the people that are investing in Dogecoin and in in some of the others that, that have rallied 300, 400 points in in the last two weeks that it's going to drop very rapidly when people pull their money. Very similar to GameStop, for example. There is Some people are going to hold their investments for a long time. I think the ones that, are, um, that, are, that have been around for a very long time, like Bitcoin and Ethereum and uh, Litecoin and so on, that have been, on, been around nearly 10 to 12 years, those will survive. The other ones, I just don't see that they are going to survive anytime soon. So yes, there's just not room for uh, hundreds and thousands of cryptocurrencies around. So this could drop all the way down to 30,000. Um, and that is your entry point to this market. Technical indicators are turning around here. We are significantly overbought and overstretched here. So this could drop very rapidly. So let's look at Tron. So we can see that we did rally also in this cryptocurrency. This was also, as I understand it, um, uh, Reddit gang, like they basically also did for uh, XRP. They basically made this uh, rally quite significantly outside of the bullion band, and then it just dropped. So stay away from these trades. They will basically destroy your account. 
Um, this will also mainly destroy your account if you're buying at the top here. The reason for that is because we are way outside of the Bollinger Band, similar to what we are here, and we are also our bot and technical indicators are turning around. So at this point, I don't think that we're going to drop significantly. We could drop to the worst in the middle here, roughly 0 0.044. But we could also see this stabilize around this area, which is 0 0.05. So that is where these previous highs are. And usually it drops towards these previous highs and then it goes higher. But these kinds of moves are not sustainable. This is more sustainable, but this is not. So these kind of moves to the upside that is something that is more reliable, like this move here and that move, and also to the downside. But these moves here, they are never ever sustainable and they can basically really hurt your account. So pull back towards the middle here, roughly 0 0.04. That is a plausible buying opportunity. That's also where the 20 exponential moving average will, will, uh, will be supportive. Technical indicators are turning around, so we may see this go significantly lower. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest video videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.